has been a minute, hasn't it? I went through like a weird frustration with <laughs> making videos and I was just like, you know what, I'm over it. I had like got a new camera and a new computer and stuff and it was just like, I couldn't figure it out. When I did figure it out, it still wasn't working right. Like the camera, I would have video and no sound, sound no video when I figured that out. I had trouble getting it to upload to the computer. When I finally got it on certain computers, couldn't get it edited. When I finally got it edited, I couldn't save it to upload it. And I was just like, you know what, I'm over it. Like, I record myself and my family doing stuff because it's fun. But we're still going to do our normal day-to-day -day thing. And plus, that's what I hear all the time. Like, oh, you guys are so funny. Or I didn't know you could do that. Or what? how do you do this and that? And just show people. So I'm like, okay, cool. But now it's like, you know what? This, like... <laughs> it's not worth it but i mean it is fun because the same way i go to youtube to like look at certain things or get advice on stuff whatever i know people that i've talked to that do the same with my videos so i was like you know what what's the harm in just just going back to how i did it we're used to do it on my old stuff and just do it it's fun you know zora is walking through here and making a lot of noise hi and she's talking She's saying small words. Like, of course, she says, like, mama and dada and stuff. But now she's, like, saying hi and bye-bye. She says stop. If she don't say anything else, she will tell you to stop. Yeah, stop. Look who is moving around and out and about. Zare, come here. Uh-oh. He's so precious. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> See, I'm finally eight months old. Yeah. Oh, stop. Okay. Am I embarrassing you? Come on. Let's go get lunch. She's dancing now. She's such a big girl. Finally eight months old. I've been playing in makeup today. Who stopped? Me? I ain't did nothing. I've been playing in makeup and like, I don't know how I feel about these colors. And y'all know I cannot do lashes good. But I did try. I tried. Like... They're not as bad as I thought they would be. Let me say that. They're not as bad as I thought they'd be. Oh my gosh. So let me update y'all on what's been going on while the kids ain't here. Well, the bigger kids. Our fish. Sadly, he's gone. The tank was getting really cloudy. Let me start at the beginning. The tank was getting cloudy. So I got a filter. I think it's getting cloudy because the shrimp and the snails eat algae. So I'm constantly putting algae in there. I, anyway, I think that's what was making it cloudy. Long story short, he got sucked up in the filter and shredded like taco meat. So he's gone. Sorry. Got another fish the day after. Or actually it was the same day. Because it was, that was a whole different story. But we ended up getting another fish the same day. The next day, or that day he died. The next day... Zayla is coming up to me while I'm, you know, getting the baby dressed in my room. She's like, Mom, Mom, here you go. I'm like, okay, it's probably a toy phone or something. You know how toddlers do. So I grab it. I'm like, this is the fish. I'm like, where did you get this fish? You just handed me the fish. I'm like, did you go in the tank and get him? And she's like, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean? Where did it come from? Did you grab it? Like, what happened? She don't know. So I just, I had no choice but to flush it because it's just been in her hands, on my hands, and it's gone. Like, it's just laying there in my hand. Ain't no telling what happened to it. We had got a frog that same day, too. Two weeks later, the frog, RIP frog, I don't know what happened. I did literally everything they told me to do, like, everything was precise he was thriving he was in there having a good time he was a, an african dwarf frog so like he was he was in there chilling i made sure that he could cohab with everything else that's in there the shrimps and 
the snails. I know they said that type of shrimp that I have, a ghost shrimp, he doesn't really eat those. So I'm like, okay, everybody's living. He was even in there with a beta for, what, a couple weeks chilling before he died. But then the fish, I mean, the frog, he's gone. Like, I came and he was floating on his back at the bottom of the tank. And I'm like, at this point, we just might not be set up for aquatics because I literally did everything precisely as I was told to by people who own them and by the pet store. I really don't trust pet stores because they've told me some stuff to do with my snakes that I know was wrong. So I'm like, mm, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt and ask some owners. Still did everything they said and it's gone. So now we have some snails, a couple mystery snails. And the last shrimp that we had jumped out somehow. So yeah, we have our snakes. Bobby and Pearl we have our shrimps I mean our snails I don't even think we even named the black one we have three snails an ivory a black and a blue we named the ivory one Gary even though we don't know if he's a boy or a girl the others we said we would name them Shelly and Sheldon but I don't know they're just the snails they're they're doing good there are some soldiers they go through a lot like they're, they're there though like they're thugging it out um, my cat is doing good, Butters. He's in and out the house, even though it's literally zero degrees outside and snowing for the last week. Week, he's in and out like a unruly teenager. Um, all the kids, Zaray, I told you how she's doing. The twins, they're the twins. They're themselves. They are rambunctious and wild, but doing good. Zane, he's. He's like becoming a teenager. Like he's getting sassy. I don't know if it's cooped up in the house and that's driving him crazy. But like, I'll be like, you know, you need to clean this room. And he's, I just cleaned it. I'm like, okay, and it's just dirty. So clean it up. It's your mess. But other than that, he's good. He wants to go back to school, but I don't know about that. The, the teachers are like allowing them, or the school board, I should say, is allowing them to go back. But I just don't know if that's going to happen. Hey, 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 Zoray. Don't touch that trash can. Yeah. Also, we got, oh, before I even get there, um, my ears are at a double zero and I started gauging my second hole. So expect some uh, ear stretching updates soon, but we also got a new pet. So let me show you and get her before she gets this trash. This is Abner. He's a little lazy thing. Say hi, Abner. Say hi. Abner. Say hi. Got you, Zaray. Yes, it's a good piggy. Hold on. I got to pick him up so you can see how cute he is. I have him in a blanket because he's a little chilly. But look at him. He's so scary. Like, I don't know what he's been through before we got him, but like, sorry, my hair is all in my face. But like, he's so scared. He just takes off running. He's a little cute baby. Aren't you cute baby? Oh, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Saray's getting jealous. Let me go get her. Yeah. This girl's so spoiled, she won't even let me eat. But she got to eat, as you can see, all over her face and body. But anyway, why did I order from um, Hibachi Boy? I don't know, like, what they're putting in here, but it's amazing. If you live by me, you need to try it. Like, I took one bite. Look at this. I'm eating on my little stand thing, but oh my gosh. All it is is steak fried rice and um, what do you call it? Crispy spring rolls. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm just that hungry or if it's that good. I think it's that good. She keep eyeballing it too. Stop. You stop. Rude. Anyway, I'm finna get down through here. Get this makeup off my face. Clean up. Hopefully somebody takes a nap, but we'll see. I'll check back in with y'all. Oh, what is it? Oh, you want to get down now? Go ahead, girl. Bye. 
all right i'll see y'all hello guys it's actually the next day it's valentine's day i had things i wanted to do but like i'm sitting here looking out the window bro it's like a blizzard outside like this makes no look at this i don't even know if you could see it past the dang screen it's snow everywhere the car's like not that bad because i actually just left <laughs> We ran to the store, but like, look at this, and it's freezing. My cat took his dumb self out here. He'll be back. I don't know why he keep running in and out the house like a dang teenager. But yeah, like, let's just put a damper on the plans. I knew it was coming because, of course, like, the news telling us, oh, it's going to snow tomorrow. The low is going to be negative 15. I text my sister like, bro, <laughs> come help me because negative 15, never, <laughs> never have I ever. But yeah, I'm looking a mess and it's like 11 o'clock because I'm not getting dressed. I don't care. I'm not going to wear everybody's bathed and stuff. So I'm chilling in my bonnet and robe. The kids are being loud. I think I'm going to have them help me make some cupcakes just because that was at least something we could do together like they got some little toys and stuff this morning and they've been playing having a good time but we also be sitting here looking crazy what you doing I can't, I can't stop. oh y'all room is getting messy are you taking the stuffing out that dinosaur why do you have socks on your hands what? What is going on in here? Why are you pulling the stuffing out that dinosaur? Don't show him how He has a boo boo? Yeah, I see. Okay, go put the dinosaur on my bed and the stuffing, and I will show it back close. What? Why are you crying? You stuck? You in the way. She's trying to go that way. You in the way. You gotta get out her way. She's trying to get through. Ooh, don't make that face. Okay, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna have them help me make the things. Oh baby, as soon as you see me, huh? You running over my toes, girl. All right, let me. Hopefully, she'll even let us make cupcakes because now that she's seen me, she want me to pick her up. We'll be back. Guys, the twins are going to help me make some cupcakes. Just some box cupcakes because mommy is tired. Y'all ready? Yeah! Ooh, my phone went out the way. Y'all make a mess. Okay, first thing we got to do is pour this into the bowl. Okay? Is it? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Is it you? Who's going to pour this in? Me, me, me. Let's start with Zayla. So we do ladies first. Hold on, you don't need that yet, baby. Pour this in the bowl. Carefully. Pour it in. Pour it in. Okay, teamwork. Oh! You're already making a mess. You're already making a mess? Not yet, baby. Next we need, what is that? Egg. Yes, that is an egg. We're gonna put three eggs. Oh, the egg in there? Yes, three eggs Mom, in there. I'm gonna crack it in there. We are gonna crack it. Don't, don't. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna help you with this part, okay? Because I don't want shells in it. Two eggs. Okay, help me. Oh, good job. <gasps> my what? It's on your finger? Yeah. Go get a paper towel. I can't go get a towel. I'll get it. My turn. Okay, Zayla, you help me with this one. Okay. You gotta open it. Oh, wait, no, no, don't squeeze it. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we need a half a cup of vegetable oil and a cup of water. Let me go get it, okay? Here, I'm gonna put the rest of the eggs up. Try not to touch it, okay? Try not to touch it. No, I gotta make, I already it. No, no! Give me 
Oh me. goodness, all I did was walk away. Sure thing. I think it's okay. No, 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 what are you guys doing? <laughs> no, I walk away for two seconds. No. Oh goodness, I didn't even got, I should have got all the stuff ready because it's been. Mommy, look. Yeah, don't touch, okay? And now it's in my hand, so I'm just going to pour them in, okay? Water and oil. What happened to our egg? What happened to our egg? It's in, the, it's in there. I'm going to start mixing it, and then I want you guys to help me, okay? Wait. What is that? This is the batter for the cupcakes. That's your cupcake. Oh, race getting cranky. She's sitting right here. Okay, Zayla, now you start mixing. Aww. You'll get a chance. Don't worry. No. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it. <laughs> Hold on, it's Zayla's turn. What, you dropped your toy? <laughs> Can Zayla have a turn? Yeah, Yeah, everybody's helping. Well, Zane's not here. Oh, wait, keep it in there. Here, let me try. Can I do it? Yeah. Look, get in there. Wait, it's my turn. Oh. It's my turn. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't do one. You want a blue one? Yeah. Oh, let's bake it. Put it down. Oh, okay. These cupcakes are going to be all kind of crazy because I'm like over filling these, under filling these. Okay, now we need the spatula because we're running on empty here. So I'm going to scoop this excess out and then scoop everything up. Wow, that's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Uh-uh, no ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No Don't touch. You just heard me tell her no. I eat a cupcake. We have to cook it before you can eat it. We have to bake it. Eat it, what? helped me make a strawberry yeah. cheesecake the other night. It was so darn good. I almost made him make me another one. She made it when I get far. What could all push it? We also tried a recipe I found on Facebook. It was like, what, baby, what, what? We have been Y'all, these cupcakes are a mess. Like, some of them are underfilled, some of them are overfilled. But, yeah. <laughs> Strawberry cupcakes. I'm about to uh, frost them. I did not know we were out of sprinkles. I think I used them all last week, or I just put them in the wrong cabinet. I'm going to look again, but I'm pretty sure we're out. I was going to let the twins help me frost them, but I'm just not in the mood for that mess, honestly. So I'm going to frost them real quick. And then I'll probably eat like two or three. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to show y'all once they're like frosted and all cute. Cupcakes are done. The twins literally ate theirs while I was still <laughs> frosting the other ones. Mommy, I make cupcakes. Mm. It's so good. So, so good. Oh, so good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to plate these, put them up. I can't even talk, it's so moist. I'm going to plate these, put them up, and probably start cleaning up, take the piggy to do his bathroom business, and because I'm trying to get him to go outside, but it's a blizzard, so potty training on the, oh, let me turn this around. Okay. So like I was saying, potty training the pig on the puppy pads, it's not going well because I, I mean, it's nothing against the people I got them from, but I feel like he done been through some things or something because it's, it's typical for animals, children to be afraid when they're in a new environment with new people, but he's so scared. We could barely walk up to him. Like he's been here a little over a week or no a week. And I'm just now to the point where I can walk towards him without him screaming and running so I don't know if he had like a traumatic past or something but like he's just now comfortable enough for me to walk towards him and touch him so I don't know how I'm supposed to potty train him if I can't even go near him 
without him getting scared. Like, I have to work him up to me being with him. But once he's in my arms, he's cool. Like, I can love on him, squeeze him, cuddle him, scratch him, you know, all that. But, I don't know. He's going to have to get warmed up to us. Plus, the twins are always, like, loud and stuff. And I know that's probably new for him. So, yeah, patience. He's got diapers on the way. A leash on the way. Like, a, n a new good leash on the way. But the thing is, it was being delivered by Amazon. And... I don't know if they like stopped letting their trucks out or something because like I was tracking my package and it was like literally out for delivery and they took it back to the carrier and said that it won't be delivered for another two days now. And then another package I had that was supposed to be delivered, the due date or whatever, the delivery date, <laughs> due date, the delivery date got pushed back two more days. Like I don't know if it's because of the weather most likely, but like luckily it wasn't life-saving medication or something because I have had my blood pressure medications be delivered through the US Postal Service and what if that was like my medications or something like ooh, ooh, ooh. like I understand the weather's bad but maybe there should be like a priority level which this isn't necessarily one of those instances but it kind of is because his food and stuff was in there too so like what is he gonna eat other because I like try to give him bananas potatoes you know fruits and vegetables and stuff like they recommended me to do but he's like so scary he, I don't know like he, he barely eats the food that I give him I don't know if it's because it's a different brand now or like I try to give him the little mini pig treats he won't let me like, he'll bark at me and run away when I try to go give him a treat. And I'm like, this is good. This is food. Like, you should want this. I put it in his little um, food bowl, and he picks around it. Like, what animal doesn't like treats? I don't know if it's a flavor or something. Mmm. 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 Sorry. So thick. I'm sorry I had to see that. But, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. Because I've had plenty of pets that I've had to potty train. And we're going to get them together. If I don't, I'm going to ask for help. Because the family I got them from, they were like, yeah, call me. Text me anytime. We'll come help you. I'm going to call them. Hey, y'all. So it's been a few days since we've last spoken. Um, Where did I leave off? Oh, my gosh. It was Valentine's Day. So... Dylan's, I guess it's like Kroger and other places, whatever. Dylan's had a um, sale on lobster tails. I might even have to show y'all. I put them things in the air fryer, the lobster tails. Oh my gosh. Perfection. I did it with like some oven baked crusted asparagus and just like a little homemade pasta. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Sorry about this lighting. I'm in the playroom because someone, aka Zaylin, Decided to rip the outlet out of the wall and it's crown and stuff everywhere. So They're gonna be scrubbing the walls and I got to figure out how to put this back together Like I'm looking at it and it doesn't seem that hard like I feel like I just gotta cut the power down here With the breaker and it looks like just this part is unhooked from here So I'm gonna try to reconnect it Looks like it was janky to begin with because I'm trying to, this is like the old playroom. If you've been with me for a minute, you know this is the playroom and I'm trying to repurpose it to do like a tea room or another like family room or something. I don't know, but they pretty much play in their room anyway, so there's no reason to have a whole playroom. So, I've shampooed all the carpets and stuff down here. I'm going to double check that the power is off down here so I don't like electrocute myself and then I'm just going to go for it. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared because I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If the power is off, I'm not going to get electrocuted because how do you double check if it's still alive? I don't know. I'm going to do that. And then the worst that could happen is I turn it on and it not work right. Maybe. I don't know. We're just going to go for it and see what happens and then have them scrub these walls since they want to draw all over them. So wish me luck. <laughs> Y'all, I messed up, and I messed up bad. Like, all I did was reconnect it and try to push it back in there. Half the stuff in the house just turned off. Like, the lights started flickering. My heat went out. Like, 
I'm scared because I don't know if I should just take it back out. Like, I don't know what to do. I should just call the landlord. But my landlord's like 90. Like, literally, it's going to take him three weeks to get this done. And I'm just like, all you got to do is connect it and put it back. Now I done tore something up. I tore something up, for real. Because, like, as soon as I did it, kids are arguing sorry as soon as I did it the lights in the kitchen started flickering behind me they're out as you can see and now I heard the air go off like mid cycle so I know it wasn't like just time to go off so I don't know I gotta figure something out um yeah okay yeah I gotta figure something out okay give me a second Okay, so I figured out there was like a surge, power surge or something. I feel like it was unrelated because it, nothing is live down in this room. Like I turned the power off with the breakers. So I flipped it back in there, like in the kitchen. Now all the kitchen stuff's back on. And I like ghetto taped it up for now because I have to go get the screws that like, I don't know, the face plate behind the face plate is where you would screw the stuff in and I don't have the patience to try to do all that right now so I taped it later on I'll figure out how to like the stupid lighting I'll figure out how to get like behind the face plate and screw it in and then put the face plate back on I don't know whatever but I'm about to turn the power back on down here hopefully nothing crazy happens like the last time we tried to do this Quella almost got electrocuted like there was like blue freaking lightning in the house and I thought she was dead not it's not funny but like I really thought she was like dead so we're gonna have to oh, I'm breaking out we're gonna have to try this and hopefully nothing crazy happens but I feel like it's fine like I feel like it's fine because before we were not <laughs> smart enough to make sure the power was off when we did this I know but I think I got it this time. I'm just gonna have Zane like supervise in the background. Like I'll flip the break breaker on and make sure like he's like standing here to tell me if something crazy happens. This is why I have anxiety. Cause what if there's like an electrical fire or something? And it's fine, it's fine. It was simple. I got this, just yeah, please don't ever tell nobody that. <laughs> so <laughs> it works, we fixed it or I fixed it. I just watched it. Zane supervised because I was scared. Like, I was like, Zane, if you see like electrical sparks or a fire, like, you know to call 911. Don't let me die. At least at first, at first I thought I smelled like something's like burning, but then it was just. Yeah, Zane. no. Yeah, because somebody had an accident. I got to go give him another bath. You gave him a bath before? A few times. Marzella helped me. I'm gone and by much. myself yeah you are gone too much anyway it's fixed we tested the power in here it works everything's on in the house so I'm pretty awesome for doing that on my own <laughs> it seems really simple but it was scary to me because I don't want to get electrocuted especially after I seen someone attempt this in front of me and almost get electrocuted so yeah <sighs> we're good now now I can put these tables arranged. I got a vacuum. Give table. Abner a bath. Table. He's over there in his playpen right now. Sleeping, halfway sleeping. Put the other tables down here and I need to cut new glass for those tables. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna start doing some things down here. He's got food up his nose. Help you what? Help. Help you what? My gecko bill. Your gecko bill? Yeah. What about it? What's wrong with it? Yeah, like I'm. I'm like, cut. You yeah. cut his tail off. That's on you. No, no, me. Yeah, there. No, uh, bro. I sat there. And Stop him. arguing. Anyway, I'm gonna end this here because I have to go <laughs> do parent stuff and clean up. Finish cleaning up. So if you stuck with me, thank you for watching. I am back. We are back. We're just. Getting back into the roll of things now that I am back to my old camera and computer and all that. So now the fun stuff can begin.
because we do have some fun ideas lined up i'm just still so salty that like those three four videos just didn't work out but it's okay yep i'll be <laughs> i'll be back with y'all soon they're arguing so yeah gotta go